What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So in this episode we are going to take Robin Ager's force and we're going to attack the po the Prussian city of Warsaw. The force is pretty uh, pretty ragged, lots of irregular troops, so we have no doubt that we will crush them. And after that we've got a, our, our named army is going to attack this Prussian force attempting to destroy Konigsberg. And to be honest there's potential for many many battles this episode. So let us attack the city of Warsaw and bring it under British control. And this would be quite a critical city to capture because it means we can really split our efforts into attacking south and southeast around the Carpathian Mountains. And this will, I mean the, the Prussian Empire is now pretty depleted. It's the main enemy that we are facing is the Ottoman Empire. And I have no doubt that we will prove equal to the task. Okay, so I don't want my gunners trudging up to that hill, I want to capture the hill. So let's take our heavy horse artillery and sit them safely behind the lines, lobbing shells at a distance. My howitzers are going to be lobbing quick climb. Our highlanders are going to be tasked with securing the high ground. Maybe let's put our smaller infantry contingent to push the left our larger infantry contingent with some steady marines and guard infantry push the right. Clansmen can support the right flank as will the bulk of the cavalry because it's quite flat promising ground but we will put a unit of lifeguards to secure the left. And our general Robin will be in the center and let us engage. So our highlanders less our Highlanders less an infantry unit will form up, will charge the guns. The enemy are massing in the town, but it looks like they are desperately trying to uh, escape. So let's keep the keep the line moving up. Garrison provincial lines, so our infantry may not advance on such an extreme angle because the enemy look like they are coming out to play. So our quick climbing howitzers can focus on other units. Yeah, they're blasting holes into my Scottish Highlanders. Open up and give them some volleys they will soon break and abandon their guns. Drop into square because it looks like... Oh no, their dragoons are dismounting at close range. Ooh. Okay, they're charging us on foot. So let's retarget our quick climbing howitzers. Get my cavalry out on the flank. What about my lifeguards here? Okay, the left flank can advance. So the enemy dragoons have been routed because obviously they've fired their volley and then dismounted and decided to charge us on foot. The gunners, yeah, they did abandon their guns. Lifeguards charge the firelock arm citizenry. Let's pivot this component of the line a little bit more to make sure they don't fire into this combat. Good stuff. On the other flank, I mean they are against more um, capable infantry. You men deploy into square because the light, seventh light horse are going to try and have something to say about that. Our main line is engaging pretty hard. Bring the cavalry in on the flank. It's that unit of firelock arm citizenry is destroyed. Push on and attack that unit. You men reform into square. You guys drop into square as well. Get my 
Highlanders out on the flank. So the quickest thing to do is to destroy their firelock armed citizenry, and that provides them with fewer infantry to uh, get up to no good. So this force can push up, because my Highlanders are going to charge the 4th Regiment of Militia. Good stuff, and we're in. These cavalry units are going to be repelled by my squares. It's life. I mean, lifeguards against. Oh, ah, that's not so bad. Round shot. Where's the general? Uh, all aim at the seventh. Some Highlanders are doing some good damage against the 4th. Soon they can push up and support my centre. These units can uh, get out of square and start to f support. To be honest, you guys can... These units can start to break out. There we go, they've killed the militia, so now my Highlanders are going to charge on and hit the enemy cavalry. My regiment of horse is looking a bit depleted, so let's charge my marines in. These men are going to gun down the 8th regiment here. Yeah, unsurprisingly my regiment of horse did not want to stay engaged, that's okay. This heavy cavalry is not looking so hot either, because they have been charged by grenadiers, well not grenadiers, um, guards. So then let's push these guys up, these guys up, I mean that's, they're deployed very very thick. Get this heavy cavalry to charge the back of this unit of firelock armed citizenry. And my lifeguards have been bashing into for some time now. The men in this melee combat are going down. The cavalry are soon to fall. Some garrison guards are going to make ready. These are marines and highlanders, so I don't expect the gendarmerie is going to stick around for too long. Highlanders push the flank. Artillery landing on the 8th. Who's that back there? Regiment of Militia. Hold firm. There we go. Spread the line up and out a bit more effectively. Got a heavy field artillery to hit the 14th regiment because to be honest these guys yeah they're gonna get some shots in amongst us but it's not gonna help them out we'll try out with superior line infantry are you really as my line forms up ahead of the the fourth regiment with their 65 infantrymen Ah, they're loading. Yeah, the 4th Regiment are going down, the 8th they're somehow still sticking around. The 8th Regiment will fall, that militia's gone. So now it's all down to this 8th Regiment of foot. Concerned. Army losses. Yeah, I get that. 
Hurrah! The territory is taken. Heroic victory for our boys. So there's going to be a bit of replenishment that needs to happen here, but that's not a problem. We, that cavalry unit's gone, actually. It's destroyed. Huh. So let's repair the buildings. Replenish the army. Cavalry can join them, obviously. You're sieging Breslau. You're not actually taking it. Let's demolish the classical university. Get investing. Yeah, they'll be they'll be okay when we've when we've demolished the school and stopped them from learning things. So then let's take this force out of Gdansk. I cannot which you can actually do. Your orders, your hit this army Russia. to break the siege of Konigsberg. Because these devils have some pretty good units. Include some pretty heavy artillery, but so do we. We'll prove more than equal to the task. We will force them east, and we will make them regret their decision to ever lay siege to our city. The city that we've captured right at the start of the campaign. Because for whatever reason, the Polish decided to declare war on us super early on. <laughs> oh well, they sure learned that lesson quickly. And then they never learnt it again. <laughs> so, ooh, that's dramatic camera timing. Funky. I'm not entirely sure where the enemy's going to be when it deploys like this. Let's deploy my howitzers to the rear, or my all my artillery to the rear, and let's form. It's formed a true named flank up against this unit of this feature here. Let's get my rifles up on one side, facing one way. Let's get my sharpshooters facing the other way. Then the remaining infantry, which are not is not named and due to their um, strength will likely be defensive. Obviously Clan Makada is going to support the left flank. As is Charlie Scott's Greys, plus a unit of heavy cavalry. Swiss Pike's going to support the right. With the heavy cavalry, General's going to sit in the centre and go, what the hell's going on? Very well. So, the sad duty is... My right flank with all my named troops are going to be the ones that have to march into the face of the enemy. But that's a lovely quick fire, quick line volley that's just gone off there. Actually, no, get Charlie Scott's Greys on the flank where they can take a bit more advantage of the enemy mobility. Sadly, I'm going to have to move my rifles because they're not. They're not going to do much good setup there. Hello, Lancers. Get my Grenadier Guards and the von Losberg infantry into squares. So the first. Royal Welsh and the Yorkshire's number one push up the left flank. The second Yorkshire, the second uh, Welsh Royal Welsh Grenadier Regiment is going to hold firm. So what are you guys? It's a unit of artillery back there that's doing some good. Charlie Scott's Greys hit the Lancer Guard. Oh no, they're not. That's my light cavalry. That's my heavy cavalry in there. Sorry. That's exactly the reason why I get my heavy. I like having heavy cavalry nearby. Charlie Scott's Grey is going to run down these blunderbuss shotgunners. My British Grenadier Guards are going to flee from these cavalrymen. My infantry is going to advance. My heavy cavalry over here is going to go hit 
that 12 pounder. That is, the Blunderbuss shotgun is destroyed by Charlie Scott's Greys, where they will retreat. Get the Grenadier Guards out back into line with the Von Losberg infantry. Get the Clan Makada on the right, because they're going to push. Charlie Scott's Greys, get your carbines ready. And then go hit the 5th Regiment of Horse. No green jackets, get away. Clan Makada, go hit those pikes. My rifles try to secure the right flank. My dragoon's going to do a real number on that cavalry. The Grenadier Guards are going to fight the Swiss Pikes. Clan Makada is not going to come out of that Pike engagement too well. Oh, if I can put you guys like that, maybe you guys might be able to hit the sixth. Charlie Scott's Greys. Oh no. Prussian Curacier Guard. Heavy cavalry over here as well. No. No, Charlie Scott's Greys. You are light cavalry. You are not to hit Curacier Guard. Let's get my cavalry around the back of this action and then charge the rear of the Swiss Pikes. The right flank has been opened up. So let's get over here and take the high ground quickly. My 44th horse guard's going to hit the 4th. See, Charlie Scott's Greys, you guys, if you guys can get over here with your carbines, you can go do a good volley into the flank of the 3rd Regiment of Horse. These Swiss guards are going down to the Von Lossbergs, but they have taken heavy casualties. The enemy heavy cavalry has been significantly damaged. It switched to round shot. So Charlie Scott's Greys with their carbines can reload and do some damage to the horse guards like that. The Swiss Guard have been eliminated, but at great cost. Sharpshooters are now doing some good damage to the 6th Regiment of Foot. General's bodyguards in those trees. Let my Charlie Scott's Greys continue to load and fire at the third horse guards. So you men take the high ground. You men take the high ground, the rifles, push round to the rear. Lanvin militia units pushing up. <laughs> These guys have about face to face my regiment of foot. I didn't mind my, I don't mind my marines got involved in that combat. Charlie Scott's Greys hit the Regiment of Militia. I mean, you can try and see if you can load a, a volley before you charge, although the Militia did successfully get their volley off. Okay, you men push up with the von Losbergs who are 
very heavily damaged. But then again, I kind of feel like you guys wouldn't appreciate it if I took named units and just kept them nice and safe and didn't throw them in. So even though they're pretty naked, um, they've got stuck in all right. But there we go. Konigsberg has been rescued by these forces, or by my named army. They are going to withdraw. Curtis Patterson, you and your army can replenish. As can the garrison here at Gardingsburg. Yes, my lord. I might move you to threaten Luau. I might move well, by doing that I can take this army under Harold Williams and destroy Erhard Vein. Glorious victory! Forward! For and again do a similar sort of thing where I just combine my infantry units together because I do have a block of line units in good shape. So let's combine these elite units into my army, although there's no one really suitable, but what the heck. Yes. Actually you guys could potentially combine these two units together. Yep, and that leaves us a space for one infantry unit. Bada bing, bada boom. You guys march east. More orders. Put the Prussians under sea under pressure. You guys are replenishing. Yes, you guys can. Oh no, they. Well, I say they retreated into Russian territory, didn't they? Well, this under, army under Lewis Mayhew is nearly finished recruiting, so let's get rid of one of these infantry units. Anything more? Ian Stevenson is replenishing. Okay, obviously we're still just going to let Breslau be sieged. You're replenishing and can probably auto-resolve that battle, but let's not worry about that. What we're going to want to do is probably take an, uh, a un an army like this army here, Jareth Hutchinson and his Scots army. Well, first of all, let's actually take Hamish Boyle, march him up to the front, ready, ready, and then take Jareth Hutchinson Fire. out. Although you're minus eight. That's pretty big. To run these militia out of Naples. Yeah, make it minus seven. Hmm. Can you guys recruit dragoons now? You can, so let's get dragoons on the go. That could help a lot, actually, in one turn. But what I wanted to do was to take this army and hit Kismet Tiffic. Because that will bring in both of these armies here. The remaining troops in Italy. Combine them, combine them together, fight one action, push them all back, and then we can attack Venice and squeeze the Ottomans out of Italy. So let's do that. Let's gobble up some uh, Ottoman leftovers. I could even run one army back, to be honest, back to Rome, because we'll have three armies pushing through Venice, which is more than enough. That's plenty. That is absolutely plenty. You don't want that. You don't. You certainly don't need any more than that, unless they've got a massive concentration of troops there. But maybe they've got that many back there. Who knows? What we do know is that the a significant portion of these armies are quite badly depleted. Proper Highlander force here. So let's just dig in, see what the deal is, see where they're coming from, before we go too mad about allocating who's going to push where and do what. There we go. 
So some of them are coming in from the extreme right. There's a bunch, well, a bunch. Quote unquote, a bunch. Switched around shot. Oh, it still doesn't hit anyone. So who's coming in on the right? Horsemen, more horsemen. Okay, these riflemen deploy stakes. I'm okay letting my artillery just engage the enemy here. Let's get my lifeguards and my regiment of horse over here as well. Pivot this army back a little bit. Let them take a... Uh, Oh no, I might keep a regiment of horse. Eh, I might keep a horse guard back here. Might kill a, lost, lose a few Connaught Rangers deploying their stakes, but I'm looking at those. There, ah, they're charging! Deploy your stakes, quickly! Deploy your stakes! Deploy your stakes! They're not gonna. Oh, for God's sake. I uh, get my get my raw marines in. See, at least on this flank, they got the stakes down. So who's that coming in? Muslim, Israeli, Israeli. The horsemen are done for. Sipahi are also very upset. Let's run my cavalry up the flank. Connaught Rangers, get them into position. Same with my Marines and their volley guns. Got a, oh, a unit of Janissaries charging in if my Scots are reloaded. Uh oh. Second rank. Oh, the cavalry charged us. Yeah. It's the advantage of having stout infantry is when you get attacked by enemy cavalry, it's super rewarding to just go, oh, did we? So let's limber up my guns. Yeah, those light infantry getting gunned down by my Connaught Rangers. So where's my regiment of horse? Oh no, my lifeguard, sorry. They're going after the 24 pounders. So let's pivot my line. You guys to hit the 24 pounder howitzer crew because they're there going. Oh, the mine went off. Oh, from the cavalry defense. Look at these brave guys here. Mm -hmm. Horse guys didn't kill a single thing on the charge, but there we go. So, my rifles. Showing their extreme range, managed to do some damage to the Muslim, and they must have thought they couldn't be hit. Kill that last crewman. Where's my general? Game back here to knock out those Janissaries. To be honest, I might even get you guys to do that. So then, my the core of my line get up right in their grill. You hit the Muslim, you hit the Israeli. Yeah, you probably will get them actually. Well, well, 
You at least get the Janissaries here. Get my Marines up first. Get a Regiment of Horse over onto this flank. Because they're going to get charged. Oh, great. Quick climb hit there. Risks of souls. Actually, no. Screw that. The weak units had um, already... Yeah, see, the horsemen are already running towards this, these skirmishes. It's always the Connaught Rangers as well. The men, of my, the men with the knock volley gun are going to try and form square. So these gunners, once they're ready, can mostly focus on... So I stopped charging them down because the light infantry I'm not bothered about killing and my... the um, Janistries had split up into two. Volley guns just dishing out some devastating point blank damage. So these two guns are focusing on the artillery up on the hill. Fair enough. some new quick climb targets so my heavy cavalry should knock out the risks of souls because they're very squidgy their morale is good but they don't stand up to well they're pretty sturdy wait a minute why are you guys routing it's not because you're getting shot in the back but They might, they'll probably come back. But just in case they don't. Now they have. Well, we're still going to do this anyway. I think it's a good idea. My Marines can take out this Muslim unit. Then they too can join the withdrawal. Good stuff. Get the cavalry back. Form a more coherent line because it's, it's usually when you get funky deployment zones and you start to really... your line's in a bit of a wonky position. That's when bad stuff starts to happen. No, don't. No, horse guards. Get back. Sorry, Connaught Rangers. You're in the line of fire. So my left hand most gun team that's not engaged with to be honest, two of you can probably stop engaging the guns on the hill. Hit my rifles. Firstly, they're going to chase down the Muslim to make sure they do rout. Push our cavalry up on the flank again. Try shatter these Muslim. 
Then they're going to go after the... Actually, where's the general? Get the general after those guys. Mass route. Fire at will with the rifles. So they're going to fire at these guys. General's bodyguard, hit the howitzers, switch my field artillery to round shot, get them to focus fire that unit right there. Chase down these cavalrymen, we've killed the general. Cavalry unit is very upset. Get you guys over here to face off against the the actual main body of infantry. Cease artillery fire. Cease how to fire. There we go. Chase down these Israeli units because they're actually quite numerous. A general could destroy that those that gun team because it's on the move. Good stuff. A tenth auto going down. It's gonna continue. Okay, my general's finished. We're not gonna worry about the Muslim yet. Because we've actually got a couple of units that we might be able to actually wipe out. But just kill as many men as you can. Like we're not even so. There's a big blob of semini in that list, so gotta watch out there. You're gonna struggle to kill that otter, so you're gonna help them. That Israeli unit's going to escape, so go after that unit. You're going to wipe out the fifth, which is lovely. Bonk, bonk. Go after them as well. The lifeguards all the way over here. Yeah, they also go after the 13th. I know there's a unit over there, but that's a gun crew. There's one guy left, I don't know where he's going to be. And then my regiment of horse is still chasing down the 15th. They'll take him out sooner or later. My cavalry's formed single file. Go after the gunner, wherever the hell he is. I mean, it's not this guy. He's somewhere else on the map. Maybe it is this guy. They never normally count. But if I keep right clicking into this unit of Israeli here, they will soon be in a killable chunk. They go down to six men. Two, one, zero. It's not everyone against this unit weirdly because there's more often than not there's a more often than not there's a an infantryman on the field hmm suspicious either way though that's quite a significant defeat for the ottomans and it's more or less going to push them all out of italy more or less, because you're going to have to sadly be attrited to take care of those guys. Only 100 odd guys, that's not bad. Then Hamish Boyle, push up. 
you men replenish, these guys push up. Because what I've just realised, uh, yeah, they can slightly sneak into the towards Munich if they chose, but that would leave Venice exposed. I don't think they will do that. So you're replenishing. Mark Cochrane, can you leave Dresden? No, not for a turn, sadly. Obviously you're replenishing, as is this guy. I think that's all the battles we're going to do in the east. So here, let's have a look at Greece. They're allied with the Ottomans, but we're not at war with them. But we will be. So let's take one of our light galleys out of this port. So this army under Vincent Bristow, that's currently completely untested, is going to sail towards Patras. Uh, ooh, is it letting us... Okay, maybe we do hit Athens first. First of all, we're going to lay siege to you. Can you guys leave Tripoli, Hilario, Huntsman? Minus 12. No, you're going to have to stay where you are. Although I could move you guys out of Tunis. I mean, you'll take down something more than that to bring them to heal. That's why we're recruiting a bucket load of dragoons. Yeah, there's some of the elite Greek units. They won't be enough to stop us from doing what we choose when we choose. We're also going to go after Athens. <laughs> then in due course, obviously, we will go and destroy Greece. We'll bring that settlement into our empire as well. Yeah, then this will be this will have been a uh, quite a good recording session for me. Yeah, played a good few games in my last episode, which you guys will have seen yesterday in your time. But I've only just I'm only just getting over is the uh, the Austrians declaring war on me um, in my uh, Spanish campaign. <laughs> Okay, again, we're going to storm up, take the fight to them, because they're not in a position to stop us. They have some Bashi Bazooks, and ever since playing as the Ottomans, I've got a newfound respect for Bashi Bazooks, but they're still not super great. There we go. So, these men here... rush up to secure the high ground these men secure the house these three units push out past the house with cuirassier support our light infantry are going to push up the bulk of our cavalry on the left including our general push up as well. How just can't shoot anything in quicklime. So they're gonna all drop shells onto these Sipahi. Because Sipahi are pretty good armoured cavalry. Yeah, there comes the broadside. Oh, they all aimed short. They must have aimed at the artillery. Out of habit. But here comes my men, including the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. Which are pretty much Janissaries in British service. They are the cream of the Egyptian army, recruited in Morocco. So there's Garrison Islamic Swordsmen. We are going to mass and destroy them with musket fire before they do too much damage to our line. You guys cease fire. Yeah, let's push. 
these guys up the flank, push our heavy cavalry in. Let's get our light infantry on the high ground. There's a lot of artillery coming in. And there's some janissaries. So these men are gonna make ready and pour it on them. Oh no, they're aiming at the garrison Islamic swordsman in the centre and this unit of Nizam. Ah, what the hell. Hit the feline. Because we've got some bum 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 Sunday Heavy Cavalry! And there we go. So the rest of their army is just abandoned. Abandoned these troops to their fate. Thought I was just wrong, but no, it's not for me. So you men also push up. Hit the feline in the rear. They've been annihilated. Then charge everyone on into the unit of Nizam. They got some firelock arm populace on the flank. The gunners are gone. How it's a ceasefire, because all they're going to do is shoot into the combat. Obviously, not a good idea. We've not got them surrounded, but they have just witnessed the into the collapse of their entire army so I do not expect them to hang around very long there is all of their light troops and bashy bazooks let's pull my heavy cavalry back because I want to draw them towards the ooh hey some sepahi came back that's not fair Push up. Push up a bit. You men are still fighting the Nizam, who are holding on admirably. Pull the general's bodyguard back. I mean, these cuirassiers are going to have some of that. As are the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. You men push around to the rear here, because Garrison Islamic Swordsmen are actually scary. You men chase down the Garrison Azar. You men form square, because the Sipahi are winning decisively. Nizam's done quite well at tying up a lot of my army. Yeah, there we go. The Bashi Bazooks have broken. They're shattered, actually. I mean, those Azar aren't going to last too long. You men charge at the back of this block here. Surround and destroy the Garrison Islamic Swordsmen. That's the order of the day here. In square, they're not going to break us now. Not from a standing start like that. The Mortar Garrison are charging. Yeah, they, they charged, but then they suddenly went... Eh. Charge them. How do they break the square? Right after I said they won't break the square, what do they do? They break the square! Push on and attack the, har the howitzers. I mean, it is surprising that Nizam held on this long. Let's get our cuirassier out and charge them in the rear. 
imagine this, you're just, your job is to bring the guns in, and suddenly there's a bunch of guys with muskets charging at you. Yeah, we go. It's the new guys. Slam into the rear of the Nizam. Combat has held up three units of infantry. That's fine. Hurrah! So it's, yeah, that's a lot bloodier than I thought, but I'm assuming the Greeks don't, well, the Greeks don't have the strength to push against me, and the Ottomans probably won't get here quick enough to worry about it. No, there's nothing, so. So much so we're going to repair everything. Begin fortifying. Because the Greeks have got some irregulars, some horse artillery, and that's about it. So I don't expect they're going to do much. Good stuff. Okay, so what I'm probably going to want to do is hit and turn. Although I am actually in range now of the Pueblo nations. Ally with Russia, though. Hmm. I'm not going to attack them yet, because if Russia joins them, we need to destroy Russia. Because they've crashed my game two or three times in the past. So if that's, the la if that's how it is, then I'm not going to attack, because Russia have proven that they will screw with my save. So instead, I'm going to let my troops carry on marching up, and then hit end turn. Pressure scrabbling to try and remain relevant. They're completely surrounded. Completely surrounded and have no hope of rescue. All the Prussian gentlemen are on their way. The fools. Don't they realise that Britain has always been the, been the best person to be in charge of the world? So I didn't... Eh, I'm surprised that guy ran past us like that. Oh well. Oh, here come the Ottomans. I mean, you can push forward in the east as much as you like. We're squeezing you from the west. You got nothing. Soon we're going to be smashing into the Balkans. Ooh, do I want to intercept this giant army? The answer is hell yes. But actually, first of all, I'm probably going to want to make sure I don't have loads of artillery coming in. Or cavalry. Or well, not much cavalry. Actually, that's probably more like something more like that. Cool. Um, but because this will be quite a long battle, actually, and I'm really close to the end, fairly close to the end of the episode, I think I'm going to end it there because this will be quite good kick off the next episode, I think, rather than end on this one. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the destruction of a whole bunch of Mughal troops before the gates of Minsk. Cheers, everyone.